I don't even like saying this, but Austin <laughs> may soon be the least affordable place outside of California to own a home. That's pretty bad. And that's a new projection from the online real estate company Zillow. Hmm. Zillow suggesting that if current trends here continue, we could hit that mark by the end of this year. Earlier this week, the city council approved millions for affordable housing and KXAN's Tahara Rahman asked a real estate expert if this will be enough to reverse course. It's definitely more limited than it used to be. Claire Daly considers herself lucky. She's staying at her family's Airbnb while she looks for a home amid tight supply and rising costs. I want to buy a home now, but now it's the most another year. It's going to be the most expensive it's ever been. So now really is kind of the time to jump in. This week, city council members allocated about $79 million toward affordable housing. But one local real estate expert says more needs to be done. There is no silver bullet to address our overall housing situation here in Austin. A city spokesperson says funding will go toward four housing programs for both renters and buyers. The Austin Board of Realtors says while those target Austinites on the low to moderate scale, they don't address affordability or supply for everyone, pricing out median income households. We are encouraging city leaders to take an all of the above approach to focus on allowing the development review process to be more streamlined, effective, and efficient. Tahira Rahman, KXAN News. The Austin Board of Realtors says over the last several months, the Austin metro area has seen a year-over-year -year increase of about 30 to 40 percent in median home prices. They say home listings have increased but are still not keeping up with the demand.